Hello everyone, Terry Cruz here, and this is NHL 24 on EA Sports. Hey everybody, welcome to another NHL on EA Sports. Paintbrush here, and today this is another matchup that we are about to be seeing, another Eastern Conference matchup of the NHL. We're about to see the next one of the New York Islanders. And they are having a fun wild wins for two seasons. But now, they're ready for our next opponent to face against the Detroit Red Wings. Now, they were not the Pacific team that we were ever recalling it for after Detroit Red Wings made a loss in overtime against the Carolina Hurricanes. But the first season turned to be all for everything for Detroit Red Wings to beat against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Now, they ain't never been out here that lonely, but in all that case, you're looking for another chance if they can make another win. Well, let's find out how well they do, because you will never know when it pops up here next. Here are these starting lineups in between the New York Islanders as we start from here on his side, as Ilya Sorokin will be the starting goaltender for the New York Islanders. He's got a showstopper to show one of his elite saving ability with the Fatigue. He was not seen in how much he was going to do with a lot of stopping with the shot, and he was putting up a lot of cross signals right in between. You know, I can tell that one here because Ilya Sorokin may be doing some a little bit of a tricks in between. If he wants to go for it again, he should show up when he stops the puck. Maybe he can try to hold it tight without letting it go. And that will be turned over from the saving of the night. We don't want to get away with this one, so better not try to stop on Ilya Sorokin if you can. Then we have this Adam Pellet, which shows him his stick him up ability with his elite defensive stick. And he also has gotten some great stick up on this lifting moment from all the defensive players. Might be turning to be. All for everything for Adam Pellich. If he wants to stick this up, he's got to make a defensive set work. And Matthew Barzell is the Ely Edges. Unlike Jack Coos, Ely Edges turns to be Matthew Barzell's directional change. He sometimes definitely do some a little bit of an inside in a, in a neutral zone, but sometimes, however, he does it in, in between from cutting from the goaltender Maybe he might be changing it up a little bit. Who knows? It could be his next day to just try to do for this wishing for good luck. Or maybe it might be too way too hard for him. You may never know what happens for Matthew Brazil if he has a good chance to take. And now let's get into Detroit Red Wings starting lineups. Here on the other side, we've got only one player. Dylan Larkin, he only has gotten some elite skating with the puck, he has made some wheels that he can try to keep on going. When he makes a fast attempt move, he makes it all easy enough to try to like show him off how it's done. I know he's really that fast, but hey, don't get him uncomfortable if you know how to skate really fast and try to take right in it. I can't tell you how much this is, because right at that moment, we have no idea what happened if Dylan Larkin can try to like keep up the skating, maybe he might do it for all. Then we have a superstar player, Alex Debrecat from the Ottawa Senators, signed a contract here with the Detroit Red Wings. He's now with the team, looking for a chance with the ankle breaking, and so the wheels with the same thing just like Larkin does. And finally, it's more Cider with Back at Ya, increasing the payback to the hitters, send it for the great long pass. The, uh, the true silence for the great hitter. Stick him up in the defense set, an ice pack, and a great shot block. That is it for the starting lineups in between, and Husso will be the starting goaltender for the Red Wings. We do have a breaking news to tell you right now. Michael Hutchinson has made his one year two way contract on Tuesday for the remainder of the season, and he might be able to say how much he will do. If he could try to like keep on in there for good at once, with Gusto on his way bound. We may never know what's going to happen like that, so you'll never see what's going to happen next. Alright, I know what you've been thinking right now. It's time for a game. Standing by, I have it across from here. 
with our free commentaries of the night, and the sideline will be on the center ice, Terry Crews. For free of each, I will have another look in between Son of Beast, OJ, and finally, of course, you may always know of, it's Boomer. So with that being said, here they are with your free commentaries of the crew, and I'll be back with the post game show. Now let's get into Lil Caesars Arena. Guys, it's all yours. Hey everybody, we're here at Detroit. That's right, at this game, it's gonna be an Eastern Conference matchup of the Islanders and the Red Wings. Along with me, OJ and Boomer, this is NHL on EA Sports. And it's time to show things off in Motor City. Let's get the games begin. The starting group as follows. Here's Cider. He gave off to Wallman and I will fire it over to Denbercat. Denbercat on the starting inbound in the Islanders territory. Larkin will give it over again to Raymond. Raymond again to Cider and now Wallman will take his puck tailing. He finds Cider. Cider wants that puck as Robot takes it away. New York on the attack. Stopping big here as Denver Cab rebounds the puck. Looks on the right side, finding it across the Wallman. Here's Raymond right towards the side. He's on an attack. Hit the puck in. Rebound is scores. First one comes in for Dylan Larkin. That will be a start one for the one nothing lead of the Red Wings. You gotta get that clear, and you know what Dylan Larkin really had that rebound to take in. After with that save, he just puts it in, but the puck and it put back in there for Dylan Larkin. Had that great look of the eye and tried to be Aurelius Sorokin, had that goal. In phase two, this was happened to be Lucas Raymond to take all of his team leader in pressure. He may be taking all the risk response. With the win, here's Raymond Pelic. Good home out shot, stop by Gusso. Taken along by Perron. Fires the corner around the net. Conference got the puck. Woman, taken by Slater. On a breakaway chain. Here's Horvath. Good poke by Woman. Buzzolf's got the puck right near the boards. Horvath to beat Gusso. Denied. Horvath tries again! Denied by the goaltender! You gotta have that clear right now because Aguso really make a great stop out of him. Right now with another change up with the pressure, Detroit Red Wings start up win nothing. New York wins the face off. Good block by Perron! Now I never know what Perron does if he goes with a great defense. You can call that with you for us a crouch down. You make him feel good, you want that, you got to give it all. Milano will get in the hole. Cherry with the shot, and it's been stopped by Dobson. That puck leaves his own, and right now, Uso will have to give it over to Hall. Hall's got the puck. Puck, give it out. Angvel, he finds Pelic. Good deflection here, as right now Cherry rebounds the puck. Taken along by Fischer. Fischer on a two on one. Broken up the play. Dobson finds Palmieri. Taken along by Nelson. Nelson toward the middle. Pellet shot. Saved me by Gusso. You know what Gusso really does? He makes a great settling with the puck moment they try to keep out. That one may be a danger zone. May not be an idea if you want that. Chariot with the puck. Chariot trying to like deliver that one to avoid the offense with the takedown. And Dobson will have that puck again to Angvel. Here's Angle shot. That went wide near right toward the boards. Here's Palmieri on a shot. Stop by Gusso. Great save inbound as Gusso made that clear one to make a save. Might be turning it big. Officials are getting set, ready for the faceoff. New York wins the faceoff. Here's Slider. He's got the puck now. Give it over to Raymond. Raymond can't find anybody. And that puck will leave it out. 
Wallman's got the puck. Deep the pass to Raymond. Raymond right toward the right toward the corner. Denver Cats got the puck right along the boards. To give off to Wallman. Shot! Stop by Sir Roken. 13-32 left to go in the first period. Still a 1-0 game. Now with the win, here's Pollock. Give off to, to, to Neil Wolfstrom. Now Lee will have that puck in corner. Carry it along the board to close the gap. Detroit back in offense, now find Larkin. With the pass, Demberkin couldn't get the shot right away. Slater, up to Raymond. Raymond on the backhand. That tipped wide as Larkin with the rebound. You know you can't make a backhand work. You know you can't just see the puck when you're looking at it. You just gotta like reconnect it. That's all you can't take. It's a lot of possession that nobody wants. Slider to Raymond. Looks it in. Hey, on the backhand. He scores. Oh, how do you live it out one with Raymond? A backhander goal, and they have the extension by two. I can't tell you what Lucas Raymond does. All he does now is make the backhand. And went up and over to get this and broke it. That got him tricky, but he caught him with an eye stop. You see what happens now? Because that puck was in, and that one went skinny over across and went back in the elbow, and then he just did not see that, and it went right in the net. That one is going to take off a big stop. No thing you can't take. That's a clear look for Raymond. Waiting face-off for New York Islanders, as right now Dobson will have it. He finds Holmstrom. Off to Horvath. He gets knocked down. Good tip down defensive here. And got a spear. Oh, nice kickback. And Costin's got it. You know, that's a great help on defense. You know you can try to kick the puck out of here when you want. But you better have to believe how he did. Mile right to Sprunge. Sprunge shot. Good stop by Sorokin, and the puck goes out of here into the crowds. Now the teams are set, ready for the faceoff into the Islanders' territory. The Red Wings have a 2 0 start run in the first period. Dobson drops the corner. Taking it over here. Looking like they're going to make something happen here along the offensive end. Lost that puck. Here's Horvath. He comes in. Here's another one. Armstrong. Good stop by Gusso with the save. Cop on the way down. We'll try to attempt to clear the puck out of here in the Islanders territory. Fails with a deep pass to Nelson. Nelson. Tries to give up to Engbell. The Ironman rush was picked out. And as Cherry will have it. We'll have to lose it out of here with the puck. Comfort trying to take the puck advantage. Dobson's got the puck. Moves across to Palmieri. And in the trike zone. And that one loses the puck in range as Cherry has it out to Fabry. Fabry on the first break. Move around. Oh, what a great stop. Two times stop by Sir Rokin. I never see what Sir Rokin does. He made that one clear, but he got lucky. All what that defensive takes, it's a lot of saves here for Soroka. I don't know what to tell you this, but this is like, no way. Not even a question that nobody can answer that. If there was another change off that Soroka would have had that, he would have attempted to get that one a good strength. Offsides the call here for Detroit Red Wings. We got the face off coming in. Now the teams are set, ready for the face-off of 8-12 to go. Winning face-off comes in as Ago will have the puck. Try to attempt to clear the puck out. Sider's got the puck. Deep it over to Sprunge. Sprunge now finds Costin. Costin around again to Sprunge. Tries to get to Rasmussen. Shot! Stopped by Sorokin. What a great handling with the save with only 7.31 to go in the first period. Now the teams are set, ready for another face-off as they're taking a look at another advantage for a face-off win. 
Winning comes in. Romanov will have that one cleared out. Here's Wallstrom right towards the corner. Clears the puck. Detroit Red Wings are back into the offense zone. Rasmussen entering in the Islanders territory. Can't get the puck to hold on. Wallstrom takes the puck away. Crosses it across here in the center of it. As now Sider has that puck. When you know that you make the cut inbound, you got to close the gap. I mean, that's a great help to make the offense out there. I mean, what a stop. Saved by Chirokin and Piggy with the stop. Here's another one. Blocked up by Slider. Larkin on the first wheels. Stopped by Sorokin. Raymond with the rebound. Larkin over now to Contestier. Here's Mata. On a short range. Stop it, so broken. Just about 525 left to go in the first period. Take another face off coming up. We have a call as Dylan Larkin has one of his amazing wheel technology to try to keep on going. Might be seeing what he does if he can get there. Ilya Sorokin shows a showstopper. When he asks that one to take all this defensive sailing, he might have it all ranged down. He can try to like put a puck on a stop to make that one save in. These are the two I'm watching over here in between uh, the one and only of those player of Sorokin and Larkin. Let's find out what happens here. Back to you. Here's Scottish here with the puck. Gets blocked out. Mata again to Fabry. Fabry to Mata. Deep on a shot. And the flanker goes in for Larkin with his second goal. Can't make him feel a lot of it work. If you know Dylan Larkin got that one deflected, you got it all by mom. I love when this hustle turns in. He know that Larkin was ready to go, and Mata is just going to have to deliver it off. And then there you have it. That one looks a good deflection. What a great help here for the Red Wings. When you all put it in for Larkin, you know you made that one here with a deflection in. That may have been a turnout to be a, one of the successful range in that they are picking up their offense to go at their end. Every way of the season they do, this is whatever happens, they try to kick it off. This offense has gotten pretty good recently as Mata got one with a great start on this offense. We're looking to see if Dylan Larkin can get his third goal of the night. Back to you. Pull shot stopped by Sorokin. Well, I know we'll have to clear the puck out of here and now we'll have to change it differently. We're under free for you left to go in the first period. It's right now he gives again to Chariot. Chariot try to look over on the offense. Try to pass it across. Fabry recovers the puck. Now deep to hole. He finds Chariot. Looks to Belen a shot. Good stop by Sorokin. Chariot try to look over it again. Now he finds Fabry. Again to Fisher. Fisher to get the hole. On full pressure for the Red Wings. Well, I know. Can't lose the puck out of here. Chariot, the backhander, Fusker, and oh boy, that was a close one to take. And almost would have had that goal. You see what happens now? I don't really have to tell you what happened because the Red Wings almost gave that goal. They could have been able to lose that puck quickly. Chariot shot. Stopped by Sorokin. Romanov's got that puck. Full pressure's over. We're under 90 seconds remaining in the first period. It's right now as this one still comes with a 3 0 start. Barcel shot. That went wide. Detroit back in offense. Nearing the last minute remaining in the first period as Chariot is underway. Full steam attack. Oh, he got pressured out of here. Cub shot stopped by Sorokin. Here's Holmstrom. No penalty call in between as Cole got it. He's off again to Perron. Perron trying to go back with the backhander. Saved by Sorokin. There's no way on the offense that they're going to have to like try to like reach a group. They need to do something else about it. Copper. All along and he scores! JT Copper. First goal of the night from Colorado to Detroit. Welcome to the team.
I never see what JT Copper does. If you get that buzz beat out, you make the goal in. That one counts at it. I can't tell you how much he does know how to shoot it. Because without the team of Denver and Colorado, he really likes to be here with Detroit. Got to make a great commitment here for Comfort. He makes a great shot. Berlich and Lee will have to close it out. So that ends the first period. A great smokeout start for the Detroit Red Wings as they already have four goals in the game. We'll take you on to the second period when we come back after the break. Welcome back to hockey as right now we're about to start off the second period of the game. And right now we are off to a start run in the second period. As right now with my guys, let's have a first recap here of how they did in the first period with four goals of Detroit. Well, and easier to say now, they were really like all in motion. They seem to be like, I think we're all set to go. Looks like we're ready to get this thing on show on a roll. But I don't think nobody has ever saw that when they were coming in like this, they were saying, yeah, we really are going to start things off on a firing spin bound. They all organize it as their team. They really are under pressure. When you play for Detroit Red Wings, you know you have a job right now. You have a lot of defensive on the set. You have to take all of your credit what you are looking for. I know they are doing this a lot by their own, but don't question them of how much they've done. I can't tell them what they are doing, but this is what the hard offense does. They're racing into the Stanley Cup playoffs, but let's see if they stay alive in this game. Mm, I would have bet on you. You know, I can't tell you how much they did. They just really crushed it out. A lot of teams got a little bit of a spell brawling layout. It doesn't mean, like, they don't deserve it. They just really need to do something else about it. That's what everyone does. They can't let it get going. They got to find somebody else to try to stop on by. Here's Cole with the puck. Cole lost that one. It's nice. Cop will have it. Conquest got the puck right now with no penalty on the call back then. Oh, what a great stop here. As right now, this will be a new replacement here for the New York Islanders. Conquest got the puck. Right around the net. Baron tried to kick it out. And their team's in inbound. Compton scores! Oh, I don't know how this comes out. Hole's got his first goal. Extend now 5-0. Well, you're not going to let that happen right now because Cole was really taking his own goal. He made that one cricky enough and then trying to go with a deep shot, trying to be up of a new player on the inbound, and Vanderloff didn't really didn't see what was going to happen. So he didn't really think he was going to be up in the set. It looks like the team in a wild card are just trying to fight off, but it looks like Detroit might be just trying to step on in there. Be eyes on him. If you can't get away with that, you can't let it go. Who's it with a good stop? Right now, it's already coming to a 5-0 lead for Detroit Red Wings. As right now, Hole has his first goal of the night. Detroit didn't win the faceoff. It stops him. will have it out. That shot goes wide in the net. Here's Fabry with the puck. Inbound, here's Valeno, save by Milanov. Varlamov will have that puck here with the second save of the night. As right now, they're ready for the faceoff. Sorokin is in the bench. As right now, this day is already over. Well, I don't know what to tell you now, because Sorokin really made that with a lot of great stoppage in the save and bounce. Let me say this. Well, if you play for Sorokin, you've got to like try to like step it up to yourself. And if you don't play it right, well, you're going to have a tough time and you're never going to get a win at this point because that may be a hard one to remember of that Sorokin really doesn't have that right chance because they don't have enough uh, strategy. They got to do something else about it instead. So they got to find another way for help. Yeah, exactly. I can't tell you that Sorokin was really like all to a full pressure. He was a little frustrated about how this happened here in the first period. He was trying to complain to the referee, and this was not the day to be here. They had not a way to tough to not a way to be a good start on the stuff, but you just don't want to take them off. Seriously, that's what nobody really wants because that's just too hard. They can't let it get away with this, and that's whatever happens if they're going to like try to stop on them. 
Belch fires the puck around the net. Mana will have it inbound. He now gives his sprunge over again to Costin. Costin trying to beat a paddling on the puck. Raced it towards the net. Spins across. We get back to Sider. Sider on a step inbound. Stop by Romanov. And he lost that one. Here's Lee. He's in the corner right now trying to look for his home room. And over on short. Stop again by Guslo. Off to Lee. Block the shot. And that one lost it by Bogart. Puck leaves his own. And taken away by Costin. Try to battle it across. No penalty on in between Detroit and New York. Battling for the puck. Perron clears the puck out of here. And this will attempt to be an icing on Detroit. Just about 12.35 left to go in the second period as the faceoff is off. And you know what happens now because Sorokin definitely left it and he just didn't really think he was going to be able to do it again. Well, I know, it's not really easy enough to let him take his own time. And that one may have been a turn out to be a difficult strength for Sorokin. Nobody has really noticed that Sorokin was trying to like keep an eye on the setup. I know he was really good with the saving on the goaltender of the night, but don't get away with this too easy. That's what happens, nobody has gotten to get away with that. Here's Pollock, deep pass to Horvath. Lost that puck, it's right now. Here's Copper for two. Oh, it's Varlamov save. Varlamov has his third of save of the night. He's right now for another faceoff coming in. And guys, to keep an eye on here, Dylan Larkin really might be looking for his way in to step into the postseason and also for this chance to make in the All-Star game if they are ready to take him bound. Because that will be a part of it for next year's season to get ready for 2025 All-Star Game. How do you guys think will Dylan Larkin do? Well, I'm not really entirely sure if Dylan Larkin may have been able to do all of his own, but technique is, he's doing great. I don't know what he'll do, because the Troy Red Wings are really are having a lot of terrible timing attacks, but it looks like Dylan Larkin may be looking for another, another look if he wants to do this again. I know he can, but let's find out if he can. Make another well want to go for appearance. He might do it on his own. Who may never know? Fresh saw the Polak shot. Stop by Gusso. This one goes right towards the wall. Past the midway mark of the period. This one's blocked and Gusso makes a save. Past the midway mark of the period. Still a 5 0 game. On to another face off in between. Detroit Red Wings are one of the bestest in the Eastern Conference matchup. Looking to get more. Good stop by Guso. Villanova will have that puck cleared out. And Icing is waved off. Fabri's in it behind the net. Now he looks open past the hole. Chariot finds Valeno. Valeno again the Chariot now finds Fischer. He lost that puck as Palmieri will have it. Tip the puck out. Chariot's got the puck right around the net. Up again to Fabry. Oh, Fabry, will he do it? No, we're denied it again by Vamarov. Palmieri will have that puck in, in the bound in the center. Find Nelson in the corner. Holds on, and Wallman takes the puck away. Sends it all the way back to the, for the New York territory, and Vamarov will have to cover it up with 8 or 6 to go. On to another face-off as looking for a face-off win for Detroit Red Wings. Still a 5-0 game. Detroit unable to make a face-off win. Perron's got it now. Comfer in the corner. Give a deep pass to Sider. Sider can't hold on. Perron. Off again to Comfer. The backhand release. Saved again by Ramarok. No, wait a minute. He may have had that goal in there. I don't know if he did. Looks like he had that goal to take that inbound. It looks like an error picked up a goalie. Watch that closely. I can't tell you how much he was doing it. I think he was trying to rebound that puck. When he goes with the inside, he may have just thinking, you know what? I don't know if I can take the backhand that much. He might have just had two times. I don't know what to tell you this, therapist, 
because JT Copper has just got it tied up already. Not even a close one. I just did not really notice that JD Comfort was like already like taking his way down. I mean, not a choice in between. Here's Perron! Saved by Vlamarov! Wellstrom's got the puck. Cop on back away. Hey, you with the puck on his way back down. Deeping it over the pass, and Slider's got that puck. Deep again to Perron. Perron clears the puck out. Pellet just got that puck in between for the Islanders. Off again to pay you. Not a shot, stopped by Gusso. The Red Wings are back into their full transition. Horky for three. That shot went too wide. Raymond shot. He scores! Another goal for Detroit Red Wings. All three players have two goals in the game. Looking for a hat trick. Well, there's one, and there's another one. Great play matchup. Raymond just really on a deliver shot. You can count that one in. Sink in. Passing the runner up on the goal. Extended 7 up. There are all three goals in between right now. In between a Dylan Larkin, then JT Comfort, and also Raymond. I don't know what to say. Who's going to be taking the next goal? Well, we'll have to find out what happens if the next goal comes in. Looks like they're coming in for a big behind. It looks like the Islanders are having a cold season of a night. Looks like they're trying to be out here for one last one. We don't know what's going to happen. We'll have to see what goes in by to take another look. I'll keep an eyes on here with another three goals to go with the hat trick. Back to you. Stop by Husso. Under five minutes remaining in the second period as Raymond has it now. Horsaw with the puck. He finds Corbett. Cherry with the stop with the puck and now find Holt. Raymond goes down. Islanders will get a regroup here as Romanov has it. He goes down. Here's Larkin. Larkin. The deeper pass to Marov. Shot. Stopped by Varamov. Berlamov will have that puck hit to cover, ready for a face-off. You never see what's going to happen like that because all it does now, Raymond goes down, that's a big hit. Never for a face-off coming in right now. The Detroit Red Wings on the extension 7-0 over Islanders. Palmieri on his way down. Another chance. Backhand. Good stop by Gusso. And Sprunge will have that puck in. Try to move it in front. Mata to Costin. Tries to walk it away from it. Good puck settling with the loose. Shot. Oh, make the stop by Romanov. Got it straight to Mata. Inbound to Costin. And Romanov got that puck with a piece of it. Nelson. Back the other way. Give off to Agba shot. Stopped by Gusso with 2.42 left. There's no way that Gusso really made a save. You got to pressure all that you can. Great help for the Detroit zone. Wait again. Hold on. Now I need it off here by Gusso. Fisher sends a puck back. And the icing is whistled out. Bellano, again to Fisher. Sider, again to Woman. Woman, stick lifted with no penalty on New York. Fisher, over again to Bellano. Back again to Fisher. Backhand shot, went wide, right towards the net. To the wall. Fabry in the corner. In behind the net is Bellano. He can't hold on. And that bad pass puts it up here for Detroit. Here's Abel. Will the team up again? No, oh, it's a nine. What a great stop here for Gusso. Take that out. Last minute in the second period, as there are a lot of extension runs for the Detroit, and they are just making a goal with a big inbound, but take another goal in here. And now Perron give off again to Cobb, and he's down. The penalty has been signaled on New York, and they're going to have their power play advantage. Coming up, right underway, and they will have to bonus time here to end off the second period. Well, no way they can't leave it out.
Bad zone's gonna be a hard one to stop, but you can't let them leave him below. They're gonna make him feel like that's gonna be a hard one, and you have to stop. Ryan Pollock in the penalty box. It's right now with only 34 seconds in for the penalty. And that one pulls it in for a, a smash call. That was going to be a hurt to make a painful attempt. Winning faceoff for New York. Pallet shot went wide. Power play will keep for Detroit Red Wings. And we'll get ready for the third right after this. You're watching the NHL on EA Sports. Don't go anywhere, we got one more period after this. We are now all set for the third period of the night in Detroit City. While the power play's still on, we've got a great ones to take all in between of Cider, Larkin, and their team. Let's have to look at the recap one more time for the second for you guys. And oh boy, we definitely do have man down, and their season is done for Ghanish Fear. Alright, I don't know what to tell you. You're going to make that hit? You made that collision out there? That's going to hurt. It looks like you're going to have to send him to the medical room. Right now, I guess we do have to say it's been a wild night for Ghanish Fear, but no penalty has been called for New York, as they would have the 5 on 3 advantage for the wings. Not even sure what's going to happen, but hey, don't let them take away from you and never mess up on the Detroit side. Oh yeah, <laughs> you can't let them mess them up on you fools. You don't want to take them away from it. Here's Larkin. Pass has been broken up as now Pellets will have it. They're trying to keep it out. And Mayfield tries to like keep it out. Dish out to the zone, into the Detroit side, and throw on to Larkin. Larkin, try to pull it inbound to make a move. Oh, he scores! Raymond owns the hat trick on his third goal. The power play for the Red Wings. Well, there's one way, and you got to help him out. You may not call Larkin to Raymond to the flat. What a great play. This is all that turns to be. Larkin giving it off to Raymond. He earns his hat trick. And he knows that we can definitely handle this off with a great settling in scores. This inbound turned to be everybody's favorite look. Can't tell him out. You've got to make them all. And they finally have the goal for New York Islanders as Paul Mary with the goal as it tipped in, passing Gusso. If something happens right now, because Paul Mary was able to do that, it looks like he went pushed in bound. All of a sudden, it just caught in. Now, no more shout outs. We're just going to have to bring it in there, and that's what they can do. It's a crazy wild night right now for the Red Wings, as right now the Islanders are now on the board, waited so long for a lot of trails to release, but that was all it does change. Now, they finally have it dug out again, they're on the board. Well, it's a long night, and I guess you now Palmieri's team, they're on their way. This wall, man, saucered right over it and can't get enough to go. Cider. Saucered over to get to Comfort. Here's Comfort. He now finds Stemper Cat. Off to get to Woman. And now it's getting to Cider. Cider in the backhand. Trying to flick it in, but it was knocked out by JT Comfort. Woman. Back to Comfort. Lost that puck. Nelson on his way down. Fires around the net. Tries to push it out. The inbound and Nelson shot. Good save by Gusso. Here's Cider. A saucer again. And cut. Didn't really able to have that one off. He just lost that puck. Well, I never noticed that one was going to happen like this. You remember last season because they lost in overtime against the Carolina Hurricanes, but seemed like they should not be stepping it away like this. They can't be sleeping out and saying, oh yeah, we have a lot of trouble range right now. We need to stop this, and this is what we have to do. If we don't have the right time to do this, 
This is what nobody does. They don't do anything like this. They've got to like make the saucer pass get back into action. Saucer pass has been denied by Barsal. His cherry on him. Pass the Holmstrom shot. Good stop by Gusso. Fisher. Cherry went down. The Islanders are back into the offense. Now find Holmstrom. Holmstrom near the corner. Finding in the middle shot. Stopped by Gusso. Just under 14-3 left to go in the third period. 8-1. A smokeout run for the Red Wings. And right now we do have an update for Terry Crews of, again, to the Goddess Fear. Let's stop him by. Thanks, guys. I definitely did talk to one of the managers right now here. Unfortunately for now, his Goddess Fear has been going a lot of speedy recovery. And the loss of him just been turning to be one of his able to try to, like, keep him out. His vision was able to be contract, and he just lost it. He couldn't make the contact out of it for work. And all that sudden, it just went too hard. He's not going to get this in time because that all has to be turning in to be a finishing night for the last year. But we're gladly happy enough that he's been at me with three periods. He is all settled in and he'll be ready for the postseason if they advance. Back to you guys. After the late penalty for the New York Islanders, the power play continues for the Detroit Red Wings. With the win for Pola. He finds guards for a right quarterback. And now Romanov again to Sidekas. Sidekas trying to like cut him out. The dude is short man and stopped by Gusso. Here Stepper County will have another one to take more room. Fires and swings across the cop. As the power play continues, here's Cop. Clears the puck out. Costin's back into the Islanders' territory, trying to kick the puck over to Sider. Here's Sider, can he do it? He's blocked the shot. Off now to Denver Cat. He tries to look to Copper. Will he get it? No, it's the Ramon Snop. Makes a save with just 12 18 left. A lot of like a target angle. I mean, no one to hide, but I can't let that happen if there's another choice. The lower, the lower skill went off. Romarov give to Pelic. And here's Horvath. Battling for the loose puck. Trying to keep him bound. Here's Rayman. Decide to give up again. That one timer stopped. This one goes right out of target. Here's Woman. Will he have more room? No. This one stopped by Romarov. And that ends the power play for the Detroit Red Wings. Only one, two out of one, one power plays for their game after a penalty on New York. This was their stuff, this major stop runs for the Romanov to try to knock it out. Well, it's just quiet zone now. I mean, no power play can't do. You don't want to take it out. Piggy lost that puck. Woman takes back. Here's Fashing. Good stuff by Sprunge. Perron goes down, a collision course here into the Islanders to the Detroit side. Raymond goes down as Lee will have it. Squish it off the puck and Escuso will give to Wallman. Here's Raymond with the puck. Has three goals. Looks like he's going to have to get another one. Pass broken up on here as Raymond can't find anybody and Dobson will have to clear the puck out. Wellstrom. Pass again to Dobson. Never move for Lee. Lee to pay you. Stop by Cusso. Pass the midway mark of the period in the third. Still an 8-1 game. Off to another face-off, ready to go. There's still been a, one of the bestest for the Detroit side. Winning comes in for New York as Palmieri gives over to Pelich. Pelich over again, stopped by Gusso. Oh, Gusso made that one a great attempt to stop the day. I mean, you'd better believe on him. Here's Fabri, pass the puck across again to Valemo. Again to hold, here's Chariot. Chariot got a great smackdown for their team. Puck clears the zone without offside. 
and Nelson driving towards the net. Fischner, they have to get to Fabry. Fabry, oh, he got that time. Shot, stop, and we're off. He denied that one here as Perron tries to handle it. Shoots again. Denies him. Chariot. No word open as Angle will have that puck. Clears it out. Sider has it across now again to Fabry. And Fabry again to Mata. Here's Mata. In a man moving. Stop again by the goaltender. Oh, I don't know what to tell you now. I mean, they're getting away with this. Not too much. Everybody's out there. But, hey, no questions asked. They may never get there if they wanted to go with another backhand before they with the goal. And the penalty's been calling on the interference for Detroit. As right now, New York will have their man advantage as the goalie will have to go off to the bench. And here's Horvath. Pollock shot! Went wide. Taking their time as Pollock will have it. Block the shot, and there they will have their power play for the Islanders. Cross-checking is on David Perron in the penalty box. That's not what you wanted to do because if you get that cross-checking, you're going to have a lot of like a bad feeling in shape and you're going to have a, not a great day on ice. Power plays on for the New York Islanders. As a lot of time remains here with only 6 or 8 to go, they may not have enough to get there to try to make a close contact game in between. And a shot stopped by Husso. Rasmussen clears the puck out of here with Wilshow and now Engvill with the puck. Lee, to pay your shot, stop again by Gusso. Larkin will clear the puck out of here. New York back in offense and now finds Piggy. Piggy towards the middle. Weaves around the zone. Good stop by Gusso. Wallman clears the puck out. Lamarov will set the puck as Wellstrom will have it. Here's Piggy. Five minutes left to remain under a minute in the power play for the Islanders. It's Angel shot stopped by Gusso. On a bound, Sider kicks it out and not a penalty called for the Islanders. This one still stays clean. Well, I don't know what to tell you now. If there is a goaltender and this one comes to be like a cross checking inbound, they shouldn't be able to get that. Here's Angel shot. Good stuff as right now Musa will try to hold that here with only 4.22 left to go in the third. Officials again set, ready for the faceoff. Detroit up by seven. With the win, here stops in. To the shot, stop at the pad save by Huso. Looks like he's ready to get out. And that puck will clear out of here, and the power play is over for the New York Islanders. A great stop inbound for the, for the Detroit Red Wing Zone. Try to deliver it up from here. They're delivering the fast breaking pressure. There's a lot of great chances you've got that with good response, and you may have it all. They try to like stick them out, they like to keep them out in the danger zone. With the winning face off, stop at the shot, and it's blocked. Mata with the puck, and now Perron. Trying to keep that puck out of here, and now Perron's back in now. Double man takedown. Barcelos got that puck back. Over now again to Holmstrom. Good stop, man. Rebound, and it's a good save by Husso. A full range attack for New York Islanders as Mata leaves his own. Here's another take. Mata stuck in the corner. Horvath's got that puck. 2.40 left to go. Close the gap. Good block by Chariot. And Perron has it now into the corner of his own. He lost that puck, and Pelic got that back. Holmstrom delivered it off to Parcel. And there's a tripping call. That goes with Detroit. A major slip as Mata's in the penalty box. There's a penalty kills that's going to take you off like a guard. You're never going to make it there in time. And you can't reach when you're doing this again.
we have a good call as Terry Crews stands by. I know that Dylan Larkin may be a great pass with the save, but this one's going to be a great assist also. I love his hustles inbound. He's been playing up here for tonight. And to tell him for Dylan Larkin, he's the best pro, and he's ever will made his, maintain his fruition to be up for here for the postseason of the night if the team keeps alive. Saved by Gusso. Now Hole will have that puck, and he will clear it out. Well, Lamarov will have to fling it out into the boards. Angbell, pass again to Lee. Loses the puck as Ben Cherry gives to Rasmussen. Wales Jones inbound. Angbell shot, stopped by Husso. Last minute remaining in the third period, and one under a minute left for the New York Islanders. And Cherry, will he have a short hand? He Peggy with the puck. Gets to stay out of it, and Peggy shot, stop by Gusso. He now finds Larkin. Larkin, he's going on the fast break. We got him that time. And Barmarov will have to clear, cover the puck with under 30 seconds. And the power play is coming over to be expired, but their team is on their feet. There's a rumble noise here in the, in the Motor City in Little Caesars Arena. It looks like they're gonna make a great win to be here in a home game. Yeah, everybody's here for a long. I mean, that's whatever happens because they've really been, really have been crushing out ever since then. They definitely done yourself with a lot of great stoppage in this motion. You can't really help them by making a huge win, and they are just, man, they are a best team in the house. Without the face-off wins, they're just going to have to see what they can do to try to stick them. Winning face-off, here's Nelson, and crouched down, and the shot was too wide. Corbin, stop by Uso! And there's the penalty. That will not be enough for the Islanders, unfortunately. Their night is over. More insiders in the penalty box, and they, everybody will come out and give a huge congrats to Cuso to make them go with their win. Yeah, in that case, everybody's been doing it all since again, and they may have to tell you they can win it and go home. And it's blocked. There you have it. The crushing win puts it under the Detroit Red Wings on a win back and bound after a last season loss, but this season turned to be a winner on their own. My Cuso, you made a great one. You made the communication. You always got to give a good goaltender to save for tonight. Well, I guess we all go home and to salute their fans. We can't be appreciated without you. We can't be appreciated to you and for the whole team. That's what everybody does for now. With me, OJ, and Boomer, this has been a presentation of the NHL on EA Sports. Thank you for joining with us and Terry Cruz on the Center Ice. We'll see you all again next time. Have a great night, everybody. All right, thank you so much. Time for three star players in the game. Two more, give it two goals, two assists in the hit. Only made that one a great look at the angle. Lucas Raymond with three goals, a hat trick is made with that assist to put a chop in bound to beat the goaltender. And Billy Gusso is your first star with 48 saves in his night, only for a man for once. Here's how he did with the total statistics in between. 49 over 42 for the total shots on goal. 54 over 18 for New York Islanders. 12-24 over 503 for Detroit Red Wings on time on attack. Then it's 92 over 74 for New York Islanders. 41 face-off wins and no face-off putting up for Detroit. They've got to do something else about it. But that's all it does turn out. I mean, can't win at all if you can't make it there in time. Six-minute penalty kill was Detroit Red Wings and four-minute penalty kill was New York Islanders. Only one power play goal for Detroit Red Wings and 318 was their power play minute for Detroit and 403 for New York Islanders as the time has already been wind out and suddenly didn't take the offense to try to like keep it out to sleek it out. That's what nobody wants, but they can't get over this. So that is it right now. I guess yeah, I hope you enjoyed this game and what a congrats to Lucas Raymond with free goal of this game. 
with the hack truck. We all give a salute to everybody, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, guess you have it all right now. In Godless Fear, what a great run for this season. And they're looking for a team to clutch in for the playoff inbound. If they don't, well, I guess there might be another way for a better luck next season. So with that being said, there are only we only got two more games to go as we will be seeing the next game. Vegas Golden Knights face against the Ottawa Senators and Canadian Tire Century. And for the last game, the Vancouver Canucks against the Minnesota Wilds at XL Energy Arena. That will be the next two games underway before the postseason starts. And I hope you all enjoyed this one, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NHL 24 on EA Sports Style. Paintbrush out. Have a great night in Detroit of Motor City, along with New York. And be sure to subscribe to this channel. You'll see more of his videos coming underway, including the reaction videos and also the supercuts of the Inanimate Sanity and the BFDI to keep you along tuned in. See you folks next time, and goodbye for now. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.